Well, good morning, class. Um, let me put this out here real quick. Today we're working on spark plugs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a spark plug out of the uh, Suburban here and then we'll uh, go over what it means. You'll see you have a worksheet on Google Classroom that you have to do and there's spark plugs and a and diagnostic sheet right next to it. So once again, another really easy thing to do, have it done before the end of the day. Uh, you do have until Saturday, but don't let them back up on you. So, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to move you back into the engine bay. So that way you can get a good view of what's going on. And if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me on uh, Google Classroom. Or not Classroom, but Google Hangout. Okay, so we have you down in here. Let me make sure I got you in a good view. So it's a little hard to see, but what we have right here is just a wiring loom. Let me just pull it up out of the way. That's not going to really stay. Right down here we have coils. These are coil on plug, sort of. These are coil packs, meaning there's individual coil packs. There is four of them on this side, four on the other side. There's a V8. And then down here we have the short wire and down into the uh, spark plug boot and then the spark plugs behind it so some of the tricks on how to remove this first a cold engine don't do this on anything that's hot okay next thing you're going to do is you're going to twist this back and forth okay and then you're going to give it a nice even pull and there it goes okay and this one has a little spring on it and this boot right here Okay, I'm just going to set that off to the side. Right down here is the end of the spark plug. You might not be able to see it. But we're going to use a special socket for this. This is called a spark plug socket. Inside here is a rubber boot that will help hold the spark plug so that as you pull it out of a place, it doesn't drop into the engine bay. Okay. First thing I always like to do is I'm going to put it onto the spark plug first. There we go. That nice and in there. Then I'm going to grab an extension. And then this is going to be a little different. You're going to set it on tightening on the ratchet. Okay. And the reason is, is I want to turn it just like the boot. I'm going to just turn it just a tiny bit. And I mean tiny. There. Just to help break any rust that might have built up. Now I'm going to switch it over to loosening. There we go. Okay, once it's gotten pretty loose, I'm going to go ahead and remove the ratchet, if I can. And then I'm going to unthread this by hand. That way it has less vibration from the ratchet. Okay, and I got my spark plug out, so let's go ahead and head into the shop. talk about the spark plug. All right, so what we have here is the spark plug and we want to look at what's the issue on it. I get some lighting here. Let me get some lighting. about that. Yeah, that doesn't work. Got a love. Stuff. Be nicer if we got it on the phone, right? All right, here we go. So, <clears throat> what we're looking at, we can see there's oil around the seat. There's some grime up here. And there's a brown dusting 
on the spark plug head itself. Okay, so now if we go to your actual assignment, so let me go ahead and switch over real quick. Go ahead and jump to the assignment. So here we go. This is the worksheet you will fill out. So right here is kind of what you would normally see. So what are some of the things we have? Well, it's not mechanically damaged. The gap hasn't been bridged. There is oil deposits, but not a lot. Okay, there's some ash deposits, not a lot, not like this picture. Carbon deposits, that's where I would aim towards. Uh, warm, no, the tip is still good. It wasn't running hot. It wasn't uh, free ignition. It wasn't high, uh, high speed glazing or detonation caused. So it's somewhere between the uh, normal condition to carbon uh, deposits. Okay. So if you look over here on your other side, these are one, two, three, four, five, six spark plugs. I already filled out the first one for you. No, I didn't. Just kidding. First one, I want to know what kind of condition is it? And then is it a hot plug or a cold plug? Now let's talk about hot plugs versus cold plugs. Okay, let me go ahead and switch back to the other camera. Okay, so on a hot plug, yeah. What's talking about is this part right here, from here to here. Further away from the threads, the hotter the plug it is, because that's where the spark is. And that means the spark is happening way up here. And this is next to the cooling jackets where it cools it down. So this one, because it's so proud, would become a hot plug, okay? I don't even know if it's gonna even focus. So that's a hot plug. Okay, now if it's down here level, like a lot of more lawnmowers, would that be a cold plug or a hot plug? That would be cold. That would be opposite, meaning this would be further down. Okay, so that's the difference between a hot plug and a cold plug. So when you go to do this assignment, that's what I need to know. Is it a hot one? So if we look at this first one, is it protruding a lot versus, say, this one right here? Well, the one with the yellow background is definitely a cold plug, okay? And the first one is definitely a hot plug, okay? And then if we look down here at the other cold one, what do you think that one is? Well, obviously, you're going to answer that in the worksheet, okay? But that is really what it is, okay? So, so that's what we have for you. It's just we're going to diagnose spark plugs. You do it on the worksheet. Um, that's all you have to turn in for today's assignment. I already pulled one spark plug. I'm not going to pull them all just out of sake of time. Uh, <clears throat> some of the other ones on the back side are a little more difficult. And it's just a, a quick lesson on how to diagnose spark plugs. You learn a little trick about installing them. Now, when to go install new spark plugs, you want to gap them properly. And I'll show you guys that next time. One, I don't have a gapping tool here. You want to put a little anesthes on the threads itself to help prevent it from getting corroded onto the head. And then once again, I don't have any of that here. Uh, and that way you'll see all that. So I will uh, put together a quick little uh, video on that and I'll put it on there just so you have that information. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's spark plugs for you. That's a real quick, easy lesson today. As you can see, it probably take you even less time to do the worksheet. And I will, uh, and you have until Saturday, but get it done today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.